What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we got for you some plyometrics for force absorption. So we're gonna do some force absorption today and then in the future we'll put out other videos like an isometric phase and then power production. But when it comes to the force absorption phase, you hear me, hear me say a lot, you just wanna make sure that you stick it sturdy, everything is contracted, you're actively pulling yourself down and you just wanna be really stable in your foundation when you are trying to absorb force. So if you guys enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We post new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays, so make sure you subscribe to catch all of them. Hope you guys like it. First thing we got, pogos, double leg, single leg. Same as always, ankles and knees stay stiff. Jump through that foot. Snap downs, we got double leg. Good landing, actively pull yourself down. Don't let your butt sink. Knees over toes, shoulders over knees. And then you're gonna go single leg. So you're gonna start on two, land on one. Same thing goes, actively pull yourself down. Knee in the same position, load your glutes, squeeze your butt, stay nice and tight. Use your core. Single leg to a single leg land now. So make sure you have a nice good balance at the start. If you're wobbling, just get your balance under control. The exact same snap down. Good form, actively pull. Notice you want your arms to end by your side as if you're doing a regular snap down. Vertical jump, land in a split squat ISO. Exact same thing with, as with the pogos or with the snap downs, don't let your butt sink. Stick it nice and hard. Engage everything. A lot of force absorption is just about controlling, sticking, activating glutes, holding your position strong. Banded squats, stick the landing. So that band's gonna help pull you up so you get a little bit more height, but stick it hard. The band will also try to throw you off. Engage your glutes. Really squeeze everything good position with your knees. Single leg broad jumps, you're gonna start on the same side. You wanna stick each landing. We're just progressing each exercise onto the next. So don't forget what you've been doing this whole time, activating glutes, good position, don't let your knee cave in. If you can't do these, start off with double leg, get them really good, then you can move on to single leg. Don't worry about jumping super far either, just under control. Single leg broad jumps again, but you're alternating. So you're gonna stick it on the other foot. Same thing, don't need to jump super far, just under control. Jump as far as you can, but I'd rather you be under control and stick it. Single leg broad jump to a lateral jump. So you can be the same foot each time. Jump forward, jump out. This is not about going fast or far, it's just about sticking it each time. You wanna make sure that you go inside and outside on both feet. Same thing, all we're doing is adding another broad jump to this. Everything's still single leg, you're gonna to wanna to hit going each direction, so inside and outside each foot. Once again, it does not matter how fast or how far you jump, just stick each landing. You'll also notice sometimes we take a couple hops. I would rather take a couple hops to get under control than have to put your other foot down. Don't let your knee cave in and don't get so wobbly that you're about to tip over. But if you can take another little hop and stick it after that like Spence just did, I would much prefer that. Third progression, after the final single leg broad, you're doing a lateral jump in. Single leg zigzag hops. This is just gonna be a little bit further of a distance. 45 degree angle, a little bit faster, but same principle, stick each landing. Make sure you're in good single leg snap down position. Not about how far, but about how sturdy your landing can be. Next, we got a depth drop. 
So you're gonna stick one leg out, let yourself fall, land in a snap down. One of the biggest things I see people do is jump off the box. You're not jumping, just let yourself kind of fall off. You'll notice that position that he lands in, once again, a snap down. Shoulders over knees, knees over toes. Nice and sturdy. Knees do not cave in. Squeeze your glutes to keep them apart. Single leg depth drop. So if you are not good at single leg stuff, if you're not a little bit advanced, you are not gonna wanna do these, especially from an 18. Start off small, try doing it from a six inch box or a 12 inch box. Then you can progress to an 18 like we're doing. You just wanna make sure you stick this really well. Same thing goes, watch that knee. Do not let it cave in. Nice and sturdy. Progression, single leg depth drop to a single leg broad, single leg lateral jump out, single leg lateral jump back in. You're gonna go on each leg. And if you can't do this single leg, by all means do it double leg. Next up, we got a med ball overhead throw. So you're gonna do an overhead throw and you're gonna stick the landing in a split stance. You're gonna start off in a run. When I say stop, you're gonna break down in a split stance D cell and then you're gonna continue. So break down hard, continue again, and I'll keep saying stop. You always have to break down. Stop. 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 Notice when he breaks down, he's in that split squat. He sticks it hard, butt doesn't dip. He doesn't push forward on his toes. Nice and evenly dispersed. Squeeze your butt.